They say that one man's trash is another man's treasure, but what I have for you today is actually a little bit of both. This is the Pocket XI, or Pocket 11, Pocket She? I have no idea actually how to pronounce this, but my son and I pulled this out of a claw machine, or a crane game, or a UFO catcher, whatever you want to call it. So what exactly is this thing? Well, on the box here, for people who can't read Japanese, it says FC Kaseto Taiyo, which means that this thing should be able to play Famicom carts. We'll try that in a minute. But even if you don't have original Famicom carts lying around, it also says here that this thing has 194 games pre-installed. And I am telling you, these games are some comedic gold. But before we get to that, let's take a look inside the box. Now, this thing is called the Pocket XI, but I'm not really sure why. I mean, I guess you could put it in your pocket, but it doesn't have its own screen, so it's definitely not a portable system. All that comes in the box is the machine itself and this cable, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that outputs to composite video. Only one audio channel for this bad boy. There is no AC power adapter, which means that this thing only runs on batteries. It's almost like they were trying to make a portable system and they saw how much LCDs cost and were like, screw it, make it a home console. Let this be a learning experience for all of my viewers. Never play the middle. You end up failing at both. Like a man who's losing his hair, you either pay for expensive hair growth treatment or just cut your losses and shave it. Comb overs fool nobody. This game is the game equivalent of a comb over. It's a home console that you have to replace the batteries on. Or it's a portable that isn't portable at all because you have to be connected to a TV with this one meter long cable. To capture video from this, I had to buy A, a capture card with a CVS input, B, another weird composite to 3.5 millimeter cable, C, a female to female adapter so these stupid obsolete analog video cables can connect to each other, and some alkaline batteries. Let's see if this Frankenstein of a connection even works. First, I want to test this thing to see if it can actually play Famicom cards like it says it can. So let's try it with our trusty copy of Downtown Neketsu Monogatari, or River City Ransom. Damn, it actually works. Of course, I can't play two-player mode since the console itself is inside this controller, but it is something. All right, let's move on to the pre-built-in games. Up until now, I've been pretty critical of this thing, but here is where you're gonna see why it's an absolute gold mine. Let's just read some of these awesome game titles together, shall we? F-22, Racing Fighter, Vanguard, Vanguard, Animal blo Blokes, <laughs> Magic Joni, Aerial Warfare, Crystal Ball, Police Dog Lassie, <laughs> Police vs. Thief, Pong Pong, Power Robot, Pulveration, Rabbit Village, Seaport Garl. <laughs> I have to see what Seaport Garl is. Seaport Garl. Okay. Oh, this is actually kind of, kind of cool. I don't know why these arrows are oriented the way they are, but it's um, it's basically like an eight-bit version of a of an Atari game, or like a Centipede or a Galaga kind of thing. I think I got him. All right, I garled the I garled the boat. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's try this again. All right, so we got our sea park girl sea wolf space space spring world star that's a pretty generic name star um all right submarine <laughs> we got through man here you've heard of spider-man you've heard of superman but have you heard of through man all right we got to try this one out through man 
<laughs> he looks... Doesn't look exactly like I thought he was gonna look. Oh, oh man, he didn't... <laughs> he didn't go through that at all. I wonder how he goes through things. I mean, he did it through, man. Let's see. Okay, 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 okay. Getting... Ah. So I guess he's... Maybe... Things go through him and kill him? So he's like every dude? Okay, let's get this gas canister. Okay, okay, all right. All right, we're doing all right, we're doing all right. There's a big boxing glove getting ready to punch him in the belly. Okay, now he's going through stuff. All right, this is the... Now we understand how he's through... What the hell happened to me? Okay, uh, start at the beginning. Not sure exactly what... Um, killed Mr. Through Man here. Ah. Oh. All right. All right, let's uh let's go back to the main menu again. Okay, where let's see. We were we were at Through Man last. Utmost Warfare. That's pretty epic. Vigilant War Zone. Water Pipe. Wild Stone. Uh, I'm sorry. Wild <laughs> Wild Worm. <laughs> As opposed to tame worms. How wild can a worm get? I can't imagine a worm being all that wild. Uh, all right, wild worm. <laughs> there he is. Look how wild that... He's going to get buck wild in a minute here. All right, wild worm. Okay. Uh, okay, got some ants. Oh, come on, get out of here, wild worm. The buttons don't seem to do anything here. He just kind of uh, navigates the menu. Okay. Oh, oh, the bee ate the wild worm. All right, this worm is very not wild at all. He's a very tame worm. Um, so we're going to go back to the main menu here. All right, here we were. Wild worm, wonder ball, move box, video poker, apple chess, Fish War, Puzzle, Resistant, Hit Mouse, Goalkeeper, Goblet Tower, Strong PJCC. <laughs> what the hell does that even mean? What is a Strong PJCC? Frantic Fishing, Brother Ball. <laughs> Brother Ball sounds pretty promising. Uh, Danger Bridge, Road Worker. <laughs> I would love if this is just a, like a job simulator. It's road work, a dude just doing road work. And then the sequel is Pizza Boy <laughs> here. Um, Toad in the Hole. <laughs> That's a pretty good name. Octopus C. Okay. We'll come back to some of these. Music Moment. Aerial Hero. Metromania. Checkers. Volleyball 2 Player. Dice. <laughs> that says ass art. <laughs> What the hell is ass art? Okay, we gotta try ass art. <laughs> is that thing going in my ass? Hmm. Okay. This doesn't seem like anything really. Do I just go around these blocks? Oh, I see. It's a puzzle. You got to try to get all of these without getting stuck like I just did. <laughs> so you can't go back over your previous places um, that you've been already. So there's no way to win this one because I've already been... Yeah. All right. Well, that's actually kind of fun. I can imagine this being cool. I don't know why it's called ass art and why it has a big picture of a sickle here. But um, all right, let's see. What do we got here? We got... Pillar, high card, twin fish, memory test, surf sport, dark castle, UFO race. That's actually a really cool idea for a game, UFO race. Uh, zero gravity, X racing, da da da. <laughs> uh, bicycle, H hoodle, hoodle. Levin action, conqueror, space war, turtles. Tennis one, Mars, f fruit pig, <laughs> free cell, power pole girl, violent, smackdown. 
spar. Rescue. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Rescue cuck. <laughs> What is rescue cock? <laughs> uh, I'm interested in some of these other ones like Bitha and uh, Cobra of the Sky, but I gotta check out res rescue cock right now. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's go rescue this cock. All right. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. Now look at this dude. It's like a sloth or something. Okay, it is a sloth. I think I'm pretty sure. It, all right, so this is like a Donkey Kong clone, essentially, but, I mean, he climbs a lot like Donkey Kong. Oh, so I don't know where the cuck is. Um, oh, that thing killed me. <laughs> Didn't get to rescue the cuck. All right, did anybody notice the crazy, I mean, I don't want to be putting any words in anybody's mouths, but, like, does that not look like a kind of like a blackface character to you in the top? Like, that you're supposed to rescue from this weird... Uh, blue bowling ball who's throwing staplers at you or whatever he's doing. Um, ooh, oh, that stapler got me. All right, I, I'm not gonna rescue this cuck. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to the main menu here. Ether, Blobbuster, Lunation, Fear Master, Gradiers, Hassle, Tunny, UU Weapon, Gold Digger, Future Tank. Oh, wait. Good hand. Panzer fly car. <laughs> Risker, sky invader, billiard, airway. Do we want to see Panzer fly car? I think we do. All right. Title screen does not disappoint. All right. It looks like a tank or something. Which is what you'd expect from a game called Panzer Fly Car. Oh, sh shit. Is he going... Did he take off? What happened to him? Oh, I see. I gotta, I gotta actually push a button to go. Oh, it's a cool... It's a racing game. It's not that hard. Um, the buttons don't seem to do anything other than just... I have an accelerator button. But, uh... Oh, I see. So it's basically just a battle racing game. Um, that you want to escape obstacles and other drivers from. So, oh, all right. That's not as fun as I thought it was going to be. Panzer racing car. All right, here we go. So, aquarium, arena, air alert, awful, <laughs> awful rushing, aimless, <laughs> burbles, <laughs> burrow explorer, and bugs war. Oh, man. we got to try some awful rushing on here. Awful rushing. All right. This looks like another racing game, maybe with a motorcycle this time. Oh! A very difficult racing game. Okay. Wah! Oh! Oh! All right. But it's basically the same as Panzer Air... Air... Or Fly Car. Sorry. More or less the same game. I do kind of want to check Aimless and Burbles and Burrow Explorer, but let's just see what else we got. Okay, Baccarat, Baseball New, Bubble Boxes, Coast Guard, Cub Adventure, Depth Bomb, Deviledom Doom. That's a cool name, actually. Diamond, Dune War, Fire Base, First Defender, Five Days, Frantic Mouse, Fruit Dish. That is one of the most boring sounding games I've ever heard of. Galligant, Garden War, Gate Hallyhoo, Hexapod New, Hexapod War, Labyrinth, Lunarian, <laughs> Mad Christmas. <laughs> we gotta try Mad Christmas. Oh shit, you gotta catch presents from Angry Santa. Alright. In your pants, it looks like. <laughs> Maybe? Maybe not? Um, you just try to catch all the stuff you can that Santa's dropping. Oh, and not get hit by a skate. Alright, so we got Mad Christmas. 
Moto Boat, Panzer Attack, Pentabase, Pobble, Polar Bat, Rural, <laughs> Rural Goblin. <laughs> That's like the famous uh, tale about, you know, the uh, city goblin, rural goblin, right? Where they swap spaces. Um, robot, Season Garden, Shrew Mouse, Snowball, Starfighter, Strafe, Small Dinosaur. <laughs> That's kind of cool, Small Dinosaur. Silent Hunter, The Archer, Twin Cards, Dominoes, Warrior, Abscondi, Ether Cruiser. Aim Cruise, Animal Contest, Bug Catcher, Busy Bar, Candy War Workshop, Contest, Cookies Labyrinth, Crystal Blast, Deformable, Dejectile, I don't even think that's a word, um, Egg Contest, Escapeway, Fair's Treasure, Faded Pirate, Final Blood, Fish Story, Fling Ball, Forest Adventure, Fruit Gift. That's got to be the sequel to Fruit Plate or whatever the hell that thing was. Ghost Castle. Golden Bird. Greed's Hammer and Nail. Happy Match. Ice Ocean. IQ Champion. Island. Jumping Kid. I feel like some of these are like right on the nose. It's exactly what you think they would be. And then some of them have just these totally bizarre names. Uh, Lightning. Little Witch. Magic Egg. Man in Red. Meccano, Mirror Devil Word, <laughs> Mirror Devil Word, wait, a minute. okay, Mirror Devil Word, all right, Mouse Snare, Mouse Hero, Mowing and Nutcracky, <laughs> I gotta be honest, I've played Nutcracky, and it's like a really weird Nutcracker game, um, where you, yeah, here you go. It's a really weird nutcracker game where you have to get away from these mice, but like the collision detection on this is so bad. If you touch anything, even close to these things, then you will die. Um, and these little rats come and try to get you, but you gotta save the princess, so it's a pretty simple, straightforward kind of thing. But I have never really got past maybe one or two levels because they, they, they're pretty good at coming in and trapping you. Um, so I'm actually doing fairly well now, even though it's only stage three. But yeah, that's nutcracky. So let's just play some of these ones that looked really good. I mean, animal blokes, <laughs> I'm guessing it was supposed to be blocks, but that's probably not the one we want to play. Police Dog Lassie, I have played. You go around <laughs> looking for cocaine or uh, money that's buried. <laughs> it doesn't look anything like Lassie. It's like a beagle. Um, maybe it's lazy. Police dog lacy or lazy. Um, but yeah, you can literally see a criminal will come and he starts burying, see, like, weapons and, like, cocaine and dynamite, uh, all over the place. And then, there you go, there's some more cocaine, I think. And a gun. Alright, another gun. And then you come in as police dog lacy or lassie, and you gotta smell where he did it. Uh, so you dig him up, see? So, I remember he dropped like some cocaine over here, I think, maybe up here. There we go, he got that, he got that coke. So, um, you just go around <laughs> this dog trying to find all the places that the bad guy dropped his, uh, contraband. And then dig it up for the, for the police. So, now I, I really don't know who these were made for. Um, you know, these games, I have a theory. I thought maybe for a while that these were like Dendi games made for like the Eastern Bloc and like Soviet countries. Um, oh, if you dig up a bomb, you die. <laughs> oh man, that's rough, poor Lassie. All right, I'm gonna open this thing up here now to see if it can be modded to make it either a proper portable device by putting an LCD screen in here or to make it a proper home console by getting rid of the batteries and see if I can try to find some other sort of power solution. So it looks basically how I thought it was going to look. It doesn't have a lot of electronics, which you can tell by how lightweight it is. It has the cartridge slot here that's basically mounted to the back of the board, and then on the front, there's the CPU and the all of the button inputs. The CPU looks a little bit scratched up, and maybe it's used and pulled off of another device. That's very likely. 
You can see up here in the corner, that's where the AV line out is, and there's these three points here, so theoretically I could solder a LCD to these points, I would imagine. Uh, I just don't know what the power draw is on this thing. And you can actually see here in the case, there is a spot where it looks like they were planning on putting an LCD. So if I were to just remove this little spot, I should be able to create a space for it as well. I mean, this thing is pretty empty, so there's lots of room to put electronics in here. As for getting rid of the batteries, you can see here where these leads come in from the DC power supply. I could remove these leads and try to solder something else in, maybe a lithium battery with the same output, or maybe even an AC adapter, but honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing at all. And so, best case scenario, I just fry this machine. Worst case scenario, I burn down my entire house. So, if anybody has any ideas of how I might be able to mod this and what equipment I should use, please let me know in the comments and I'll give it a shot. If I burn down my house, I'm gonna come looking for you though.